Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts Deve Development Studio, Square Enix appears to have ended working relationships with Sweet Baby Inc. There it is. There it is, boys. Damn, look at Scarlet's giant titties. Let's continue. In the development that hopefully bodes well for fans of the company's vast catalog of franchises, Square Enix is no longer listed as an active client of Sweet Baby Inc. I gotta check this right now. Sweet Baby Inc. I, I, need, to, I need to check this right now. Uh, oh my god, we did it, man. Oh man, oh, oh that that means that we're not gonna have any bullshit in Final Fantasy 7 uh part three. Oh my god. We did it. Oh my god, there it is. Hell yes, this is oh, this is a fantastic news. Alright, uh Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. Per an archive of project sections in Sweet Baby Inc. official website, at least as a recent as August 2024, the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth developer was listed alongside such as um, studios as EA, Ubisoft, Warner Brothers. Games is one of the notorious DEI-centric video game consulting companies, many AAA clients, which is the old one right over here. Yes, Square Enix is right there. Or however, I discovered by users across social media earlier this morning, it seems that Square is no longer choosing to engage Sweet Baby Inc.'s service as their logo has now been completely removed from Sweet Baby Inc.'s publicly displayed client list. Let's fucking go. Holy shit, this is awesome. Oh my God. In interest of caution, it should be noted that there does exist a distinct possibility that Square Enix's disappearance from Sweet Baby Inc.'s website is some way accidental or temporary. The possible result of the website error or path file misalignment. I don't know. We shall see. Right? Because now this this has gone like like everyone on Twitter and X probably knows about this. It's Sweet Baby. That, that means Sweet Baby should already know. Kim Belair should already know. And that means that if it was a mistake, they would have addressed it already, in my opinion. Right? But should their logo remain absent for the months to come, it would indicate that supposedly the hard at work Kingdom Hearts 4 studio has chosen to, if not abandon their adherence to the performance concept of capital letter diversity and inclusion altogether. At, at very least, stop giving their money to the entity whose employees regularly deride their core audience and overall positive development in either way. Absolutely. Right? We do know that they have an ethics department at Square Enix. We do know that. And that's the reason why we lost Big Titty Tifa. J H Cup, J Cup, Big Titty Tifa was nerfed down to Triple D. Here's the thing, though. Triple D's nuts, titties, are still pretty damn big, in my opinion. Bigger than a handful. So, uh, it's it's still good. It's still good. Come on. It, it's, it's still good. The fact that they, they didn't nerf... A scarlet and like cover her up is it's amazing already but yeah uh this is awesome now imagine if uh freaking when you walk away your penis makes me stay like imagine if kingdom hearts 4 like all of a sudden sora is no longer the main character they bring in like some woke garbage or something like that or when sora jumps into like a different world he turns into a girl it's like i'm trans now <laughs> like you're not gonna get that anymore right which is fantastic all right, uh, all right. And in regards to their history, while it's unknown to which of Square's specific titles Sweet Baby Inc. worked on, we do know it's 100%. Uh, what's it called again? What's this garbage? Yeah, for for spoken. Right. Uh, during their time, the studio was responsible for enacting the modern audience-based creative decisions by, uh, sorry, as cen censoring slavery-related images in Final Fantasy 16, covering up such female characters as female warriors upcoming dragon quest yeah we do know that I, I i do i did see some images where some dragon quest characters were covered up their breasticles were covered with these like weird mesh garbage sort of like what they did with stellar blade with uh putting like a mesh for the cleavage and then uh and maya the, in a dragon quest monsters uh monster hunter sorry dragon quest monsters 3 and producing an entirety of forespoken and let's be honest, if we're uh, to put our money into the entire situation, betting on widely panned, terribly written for spoken as one of the titles have received over from Sweet Baby Inc. would be the closest thing that would come. Yeah, this, this game was fucking awful. But yeah, this is huge. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure he just goes on and talks about um, shareholders is sweet. And, like, like we do hear that from the developers that they're going to move towards quality over quantity of games, which is good. They should focus on Kingdom Hearts. They should focus on Final Fantasy. They should focus on games that makes them money, right? In celebration of this, I have found the perfect image for us to goon over. This is a this is a celebratory image that I found, and I'm pretty sure everyone here would like it. This is a celebration that Square Enix is no longer a part of Sweet Baby Inc. Let them titty milkers out. This is amazing. I don't know where this image came from, but I saved it. And yes, this is a cele celebratory uh, occasion, and I'm happy. Yes, this, this this is a big W. We are back. We are so back, boys. Oh man, we are so back. Oh man, damn! Look at those titties. They're mesmerizing. Holy Jesus!